Hello, dear friends. Such a short issue. Many of my patients have questions. Many patients come to be treated, so to speak. What's the story? Azempic, preparation of the drug Azempic, it is indicated for type 2 diabetes. Everything would be fine, that is, we have pronounced diabetes when the use of Azempica is justified. But we have the following situation. Girls who want to be slim and athletic and beautiful very quickly, in general, begin to use Azempic without indications. What's going on? If we take the instructions for the drug Azempic, we will see that it, the quote is written right in the instructions, causes a delayed release of insulin. A person who is overweight in general is caused there either by a slight increase in glucose or is generally caused by hypodynamia, and he does not have, especially a pronounced second diabetes. Maybe there is insulin resistance there, but it's weak. For him, Azempic will only increase his insulin resistance because the amount of insulin will increase. And the use of the drug Azempic without indications can, on the contrary, lead to the development of type 2 diabetes. Here, again, it doesn't mean. That's how I talk about testosterone. Here I will also make a reservation about Azempica. This does not mean that Azempic himself. It's a bad drug. Because when patients have cascades, especially, accordingly, glucose is increasing day by day. Here. And so that, accordingly, such a patient as we have accepted, such remnants after Soviet medicine. But it's clear, Soviet medicine, it's not bad, but there just wasn't anything there, right? And injected insulin. And still with type 2 diabetes, despite the fact that not only, well, azempic, but there are preparations of sulfa-urea. But if there is a huge high glucose of some kind, knocked down with preparations of sulfa-urea, respectively, with control, with control of ketone bodies. Again, there are no problems controlling ketone bodies by a doctor. All the information about how to reduce, respectively, the number of ketone bodies is everywhere in the textbooks. We will start reading textbooks soon. You will see for yourself, you will hear that there are no problems at all. Problems can arise only for the patient, if the patient, accordingly, well, goes to the doctor, is not observed in a hospital, or even remotely, it's to go for a dig. Yes, sometimes you need to dig yourself to lower ketone bodies. Here again, I will not advertise any specific drugs here in this issue. We will analyze this topic separately for acidosis. Here. So, but what is important for us to understand? It is important for us to understand that the use of the drug Azempic is not justified in persons with mild insulin resistance. Or, accordingly, is not justified in persons with, I do not know there, not pronounced hyperglycemia. Here, well, there's somewhere 5 and 5 with her. With insulin 8, 9, albeit slightly overpriced. And what do we see? We see insulin resistance already more persistent, or the second diabetes is already more persistent. Here. And it is clear that if, let's say, we had such a form in which a person on the contrary dropped insulin. Somewhere there was to insulin, yes, the girl had, but glucose was high. In this case, such a girl will say, Azempic did not help to lose weight, and there were no kickbacks, everything is fine. But the one who had high insulin, as I said, high glucose, she will swear after Azempica. Therefore, opinions differ so much. Because you don't observe the tests. You, like those same jocks who randomly give themselves testosterone, girls randomly give themselves Azempic. And they are like, yeah, everything is fine, tests. No, I haven't. At best, it's glucose control. And how she will control it, 
Well, it's not clear at all. Well, like to stab or not to stab a Zempic or something. Here. Therefore, accordingly, well, it's sad, it's sad, because the last patient after the drug Azempic that I had, here she is, respectively. Well, it so happened that she got pregnant, lost the fetus, really, well, very early. Now, there was a miscarriage painlessly. Accordingly, in principle, now we have inherited and so on. Gynecologists examined, there are complete data. That's it, the reproductive function is preserved, thank God, everything is fine. But nevertheless, due to a huge jump in insulin and glucose, she abruptly cancelled the drug for some reasons of her own. Here. Plus, after all, well, such an age there, well, after 30. All this is more difficult to experience. Do you understand? Here. Therefore, this story is not very good. Here. Not a very good history of the use of the drug Azimpic, so I urge you all just not to use it without a doctor. Most likely, it is not shown to you if you do not have a diagnosis of a second diabetes. So, dear friends, take care of yourself. If you have any questions, I am waiting for you all at the online consultations. And may health be with you. Subscribe to our channel, support Ukrainian content.